Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and this is episode 14, I want to say, of Let's Play Saxony in Urban Rivals 4. We are currently at war with Mecklenburg. It's not our war, we just joined it, but, um, you know, if it's super cheap, we might be able to vassalize him. I don't think so, though. I would like to, though. <laughs> okay, there goes Mecklenburg. Move to Lunaburg. Tech up. Yeah, I will. As soon as we can. Uh, ooh, what's this? Aachen wants access. Sure. Military leader died. That's fine. So, we conquered Mecklenburg's capital. And that gives us 5% war score. 5% for conquering their capital. It's their capital. My god. Mein Gott. Mein Gott. Oh, rebels. Holstein nationalists. Oh, statesmen died. Damn it, everyone's just dying. Uh, do we want a statesman? We probably want another statesman. Yeah, reputation is just so awesome. Hurry up and finish this shit, please. Oh, who's this? Is this Hesse? Yeah, what's up? Oh, look at this. Brunschrick will take vassalization. We just have to be able to ally with him. Oh, he will. Brunschrick will take vassalization and an alliance. Oh, my goodness. All right, stop impressing him. Let's do that. Oh, he needs to get out of his war first. What is this war? Attacker against Hesse in the second Brunschwicki and Conquest of Castle. Mm, I don't really care about your Conquest of Castle. Okay, whatever. Okay, they got a white piece. That's fine. Let's talk. Oh, now they don't want a marriage. What? It said they would. And now they don't. We're really close, though. Uh, let's uh, go back to improving relations. What are we at? Plus 68. We might be able to get there. Uh, we do have... Yeah, enemy of our enemy. We do have that. All right, let's just keep improving relations. That's weird. It showed it showed green check marks, and then as soon as they pieced out, then they didn't want it anymore. Well, maybe it's because they were the losing their war? I'm not sure. Local recruiting. Okay, cool. It's fine. Alright, that fell. Very good. Let's go over here. Uh, our king needs to die, because when he dies, there's a small chance that we will inherit Thuringia. In fact, 27%, that's a pretty good chance. So let's go ahead and make our king a leader. And if he dies, so be it. Go attack them. And bring your morale up. Protestantism, that's fine. Ooh, Austria. Are you at war with someone? Oh, that's right. They're at war with England, aren't they? Yeah, England and Crimea. Well, at least you brought some troops back from Crimea. You still got 3,000 guys over there for whatever fucking reason. So derpy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What happened? Hungary to declare war on Austria. Yeah, that's a good time to declare war on Austria. Uh-huh. 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 Everyone's joining on Austria's side, which is good, because Austria has, like, no troops right now, because they're dumb as dirt. And the rebels are up here, and they're trying to get the rebels back, and blah, blah, blah. Austria, you're an idiot right now. Why would you send troops to Crimea? It's so far away. And now... Wait, is this Hungary? Yeah, it's Hungary. Um... Oh, they actually want to be nice to me. They're friendly. Uh... Hungary, do you have, like, any troops at all? Just asking. <laughs> I don't think you do. You have 4,000 troops. Yeah, we'll join that war. God. Oh, it's an alliance war. So it's also... Wait, no, it's not France. What is this? Is there some other war? No. I have to accept twice? That's weird. 
I don't quite get why I have to accept twice, but whatever. Uh, so, war with Hungary. They only have 4,000 troops. Not really going to worry about it. Austria should be able to take care of them on their own with this stack of 11. Should be fine. Should be. I say that as if it's actually going to be fine. Alright, let's see if we can kill this stack here. That'd be great. Okay, there's the problem. That is a problem. France has joined this war on Hungary's side because it's a coalition war, right? So that's the coalition. And, uh, or is it not a coalition? Let's see real quick. Coalition, coalition. No, there's no coalition against Austria. All right, it's just Hungary is apparently allied with France. Yes, they are. All right. So France is going to conquer all this shit. They're probably going to take half of it. And in the meantime, well, no, Hungary is the war leader. All right, so really, this comes into my hands. Austria can't do this on their own, but we could probably end this war real quick if we go take Hungary's capital. Ooh, France is even over here. If we go take Hungary's capital, that should end the war. Because they're the war leader. It's really weird. All right, kill them. Run to Lubeck. Follow and kill. Alright, we destroyed their only army. How is this 15%? Oh god, France is over here. God. Why is France over here? Go away, France. No one even likes you. Don't go this way. No one even likes you, France. Seriously. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh no, they're in retreat mode, meaning they cannot engage in combat. Okay, my bad. I overreacted. Alright, go home anyway. Actually, just go stand in Ruppin. Let's see what they do. We own more than half their country, including their capital, and that's only 15%. That makes sense, right? Still hostile. No alliance. No marriage. Alright, whatever. And we're getting blockaded. Oh. The, <laughs> Mecklenburg is blockaded. It's not really our land, though, is it? Anyway, France is running their troops all the way home, and they're fighting rebels. France has like 40k, I want to say. Yeah, like 40k. We can do some ideas. What's the idea? Oh, Militia Act. What's that going to be? Stability cost goes up, but discipline goes up as well. I think that's worth it. I like discipline a lot. We are funding our troops, right? Yeah, good. And we're still making money. That's cool. What's well, because of Denmark? Right. Well, why isn't Denmark pieced out? I can't piece. Only Saxo Lauenburg can piece out Denmark. Oh, goodness. You know what we can do, though, is we can go take Vorpommer. If we get 100% on them, I wonder if that'll be enough. <laughs> it better be. <laughs> All those little autosaves are really annoying. I wish I could do it more fluidly without breaking the immersement. Ooh, tensions between nobles and clergy. Hold on, hold on. All right, tensions between nobles and clergy. In a feudal kingdoms, two castes within society held great power, the nobility and the clergy. Now it, now it turns out a baron of the local monastery and his fief are bickering about who owns a rather large piece of land. These days, royal court, blah, blah, blah. Jesus lived among the beggars and fishermen. Why don't you? The Pope's opinion of Saxony goes down by a hundred. Or, surely we do not wish to anger his holiness. Nobles rise up against us. Uh, well, uh, who's the Pope? Who's the dude? Poland. Yeah, let's not get excommunicated. So, we'll just fight some rebels. Where are they going to be? Niederlaus says That's fine. Whatever. So, we have to kill some rebels. Who the fuck cares? Noble rebels, whatever. Oh, that's so easy. All 
Alright, let's finish up this shit. More, wow, we're getting Protestantism everywhere. Let me slow down time, actually. I want to be able to see if we get a if we get a 100% war score, I want to see what kind of peace deal will be possible. Probably nothing amazing, but we'll take a look. I want to keep an eye on these guys as well. Oh, they don't, they're not hostile anymore. They will take a marriage, but not an alliance, because we have negative 12 towards them. But hopefully that'll go away. They might try to improve relations with us. That'd be nice if they did. We should really see about getting a marriage, though. Well, let's finish up what we're doing first, then we'll take a look at them again. Brunswick declared war on Mecklenburg. Oh, that's good. You want access? That's fine. And that will actually improve my opinion of you, but not much. Yeah, not much. Austria again. Switzerland occur war on Austria. Oh my god. Uh, Switzerland is big and scary. But they don't have that many troops, do they? I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll keep joining on Austria's side. I don't think we have anything to lose at this point, so... It's probably okay. It's not Poland. If Poland declare war on Austria, I might have to think about it. Switzerland, I'm not really too worried. Austria's defender of the Catholic faith again. That's fine. Okay, Oldenburg has peaced out. That's good. Castile has joined against. So Castile and France are now against us. Whoa, and England. Whoa, and Denmark. Oh my god, this is a lot of war. A whole lot of war. All right, we got Lubeck. That's 26%, which is not much, unfortunately. Oh yeah, let's stop impressing. Uh, we're trying to impress relations over here. We're at 190. Uh, let, yeah, let's... Um, let's do you real quick. You're at peace, right? No, he's still at war. He's still fucking at war. Uh, yeah, I'll bring both of them home, actually. I want to be able to do some diplomatic bullshit. Venice declared war on Austria. Yeah, we'll join. God, Austria is just in so much shit right now. Alright, come on back. See, this is about the point where Austria is a little too big and too spread out. They have this over here, this right here, and this over here. And they went and they sent all the troops to Crimea. And while they were over there, they lost a ton of troops to attrition and bullshit. So they really screwed that up. And, you know, they have no one to cry to except themselves, because they screwed that up. Anyway, we got our dudes back. Let's take a look at what peace deals are available here. Uh, we can't vassalize them. They're way too big. We could make them spit out... Let's see. Lubeck to the Hansa, or... Lüneburg to Munster. I don't really care. Uh, sure, Lüneburg to Munster, that's fine. Release Lüneburg? No. Uh, actually, if they if they release them, we could just annex them peacefully. That's true. Mm, give me your trade power. Give me some money. Oh, you won't even do that. Yeah, let's wait until this last province falls. It won't be that long. And that'll at least get rid of one of these frickin' wars. Please go over there. Oh god, it's an autosave. I can never tell if the game's just gonna crash or if it's doing an autosave, because it scares the shit out of me. Oh, Holsterian nationalists. We have to we have to go kill them. We're trying to vassalize these fools. Don't take land away. I assume this will give us a 100% war score. It should. It's all their provinces, right? Alright, kill them. Oh god, that's so easy with these Gallo Glade. These guys are amazing. Okay, they're dead. Come home. Yeah, yeah. Austria is going to lose a lot of shit in this war. Ah, pff, guaranteed. 
In fact, can we peace out Switzerland? They're the only ones I really give a shit about. Can we peace out Switzerland? No. Alright, whatever. Brunschrick, you're still at war. Let's get that marriage. Hmm. Now let's wait until peace. I, I really don't want to push it. If we go for the marriage now, they may bump it up enough to where we can get an alliance. And then we might be able to finagle our way into a vassal situation. But we can't do anything while they're at war. They would have to get peace. Nah, we'll just do it. Okay. There we go. They still don't want an alliance, though. We'll take a look at why. Alright, they're done. What can we do? Right, return core. Okay, hold on. Clear the deal. Uh, return core to... Oh, we could just take Lunaburg. What would that be? 15 aggressive. Oh. That is rough. We need it, though. Hmm. Can't vassalize them. They're too big. Uh, we could spit out Lunaburg. We'd have to vassalize them, though. They may be... We might, have, we might have hostile relations, though. Most likely we'll have hostile relations. It's just not worth it. Um... Lubeck to the Hansa. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Give Lubeck to the Hansa. And we'll take Lunaburg. Oh, man, this is so bad. Hmm. Nah, we're doing it. We're doing it. And give me your trade power. Done. There we go. Okay. Now you guys should peace out because you have no reason to go to war anymore. And then let's take a look at why you don't want to ally with me. Hopefully there's no big deal and you will ally. I don't know. All right, group up the armies. You guys need to get peace like right now. Can we peace you out real quick? Oh no, you're still at war, right. So next time we go to war with Mecklenburg, we should be able to vassalize them. There are only three provinces now. In the meantime, why don't we... I don't know, do I want to fast forward? Not yet. Uh, okay, let's take a look at why they don't want to ally. Oh, it's because we're at war. Psh. So, no no real reason. Um, yeah, let's fast forward. Let's speed up, group up the army, and let's just see what happens. I mean, we're just going to stay back on our heels and watch the war. Because we're not, this is not our war. None of these are. This is all against Austria. And Austria is doing the right thing. They haven't lost anything to France over here. Not yet. And they're over here sieging Bohemia's capital. I mean, uh, Hungary's capital. If they finish, then they should be able to peace out of that war. And that'll get France out. That'll be a huge, huge, awesome thing for them. Oh, no, I take that back. France did conquer Brisco. All right, well, hopefully Austria can finish this up and peace out France. There you go. So that should peace out France. Come on, peace them out. Don't don't hold on to this war. You don't need this war, Austria. You're winning. Oh my god, they're actually going to hold on to this war? You're shitting me. They're winning by 12. They would peace out right now. Hungary is so weak. They're the war leader. Hungary is the war leader. They're so weak. You would totally be able to peace them out right now. Oh, goodness. Anyway, what is the Hansa? They're a republic. All right, whatever. Again? What now? Defender against Pasav and the Pascavian conquest of Rival, which is... Danish lands? How are you... Def are you allied with Denmark? Are you serious? You are not allied with Denmark. Well, then how the hell... I'm confused. Pascav is attacking Denmark, right? Denmark. Okay, Pascal. Yeah, they attack Denmark. Denmark's not in the HRE, are they? No, they're not. The capital's not in the HRE. They're not in the HRE. I don't even know how this happened. Are you guaranteeing them? Well, that's possible, I guess. Why are you guaranteeing them? No. There's no guarantee. I don't even know how this happened. Oh, Defender of the Catholic Faith. You're right. That's what it is. Defender of the Catholic Faith. Well, that one I'll join, because that one's super easy. It's just Piskov. 
Still, I mean, shit. Why do you... Austria, Austria, Austria. So they are going for 100%. If they get 100% on Hungary, that's sure to end the war. But they, they can end the war right now. I don't know why they're not. Pomerania declared war on Mecklenburg. Of course they did. This whole area is just so fucked up. You guys are all still at war. Let's core Lunaburg while we're here. My goodness. We have maxed out our military power. We can't use it on shit. How long until the tech comes cheap enough? Uh, maybe next year. It might be cheap enough next year. Let's take a look. We're going from 1,098. Let's see if it comes down under 1,000 at the end of the month. It's possible. It did not. Ah, oh, we have to wait another year. <laughs> oh, well. All right. It's a good thing we're on fast forward. Come on, Austria. Just peace out hungry, dude. Seriously. Okay, saxe Lauenburg is out of the war. Can we vassalize you? Yes, we can. We just need to get relations up. Okay, good. Uh, we need to also kill your rebels because they are frequent. And I might as well keep improving relations with you because that'll only help. And then once we're at peace, we should be able to vassalize them as well. So, perfect. Um, ba -ba 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 -bum, ba -ba 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 -bum. We just need to improve relations. And we should also align one of our Herpskaderps with uh, whoever they have as a Herpskaderp. Uh, Friesland? No, let's do Cologne. Cologne's probably a better choice. Well, the Hansa's right there. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll do Cologne. Whatever. Uh, who can we get rid of? We can probably get rid of the Palatinates. We don't need that. So, uh, who did I choose? Cologne. Right. All right, Cologne. What's up, bro? Uh, everyone. Cologne, Cologne. There you go. All right, that should give us instant bonus points. Great, 124. Still got a ways to go, but whatever. There you go, buddy. See, we're good we're good pals. You should totally be my vassal. You would love it here. Everything's just fantastic, man. You would love it. I don't know why you're not piecing out Hungary, because that would get France out of the war. You're being dumb. You don't want to fight France, trust me. Maybe they do want to fight France. Maybe they're fucking suicidal. Oh, shit, we're out of time. All right, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this episode today. Join us next time, where we will try to help our derpy buddy Austria. <laughs> See you then.